Hey everyone, I'm Kat. I'm Amber. And we are Wandering Suit, Black Lesbian Expats. And we are in Hanoi, Vietnam. We've been on the road for the last year. A year of actually this month, right? Mm -hmm. June 4th was the day that we departed. It's our anniversary. Oh, look, look, look at Norita. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway. So today on this video, we decided to talk about things that we found interesting, you know, different about our travels in Southeast Asia. Things that you may not have thought about, that you may encounter during your travels here in Southeast Asia. Now, just to let you know, we haven't been everywhere. No. We haven't seen everything. But we've seen enough to make a video. There you go. Hey. So we've been to Cambodia, Malaysia, Indonesia, uh, Vietnam, Thailand, Singapore. Oh, it's using for yeah. my reason. Yep. So we've been a few places. Enough, like I can say, to make a video. Mm -hmm. And so here we shall go. We got a song about it. Right. Make a video. Anyway, so I guess we could start with scooters. Like, that's like the most obvious thing that you're going to see yeah. in every country is that they're more prevalent. Prevalent. I was trying to use a big word. They're more common. Yes. Than cars. Uh, there are cars here, don't get me wrong, but scooters are cheaper, money being what it is, mm -hmm. more people can afford scooters. And you can get around quickly, <laughs> on, like it's nothing, like nice. the scooters can go everywhere. And it's nothing to see like six people on a scooter. See you I don't I'm going to take a picture. I think the most I've seen is probably five, and that was, um, with, little, that was with a baby. I've seen six people. <laughs> six. And if it's a spot, they'll scoot you on it. And they will go. Okay, maybe including the dog. It was I've six. seen dogs. Maybe they dogs just dog. be rolling, just be looking and waving. I'm like, what's up? <laughs> baby standing up. They don't, I mean, no helmets, no safety gear. And they just be zooming on the roads, honey. I love it. Mm -hmm. It ain't for me. But I love it. Mm -hmm. So if you move here or Southeast Asia permanently, it's a great alternative to a car. A lot, lot, lot cheaper. You have to get a driver's license, but that's like one of the first things you're going to see everywhere. Um, and in Vietnam, they actually have designated roads for scooters versus cars, so they don't follow follow that. But they they're supposed to be there, right? Yeah, yeah. No, they're they're just. I mean, like everybody else, they're everywhere. So. They don't follow the traffic rules. The cars don't follow the traffic rules. So why should the scooters? Everywhere. So yeah, and that's another thing. Nobody follows the traffic rules here. Um, anywhere. Indonesia may be a little bit better, but man, and Singapore, probably because the cops don't play there at mm -hmm. all. Yeah. But um, Vietnam is horrible. I've never prayed up, stayed prayed up as much as I have. And I don't know who I'm praying to, but honey, I'm just scared. You better pray to them. I'm scared in Vietnam. I've seen my life flash several times since I've been here. And I thought Cambodia was bad. And Thailand ain't great. But these people... I mean, you don't know if you're going to run into a truck, a cow. I mean, you just don't ever know what it's going to be. You, do, you come this close every time you're out. It's something. Right. And all they do is beep, beep, beep. And nobody follows the rules. So I don't know what the beep is for. It's just to remind them I could hit you. I don't know. We're going to all die. I don't know. Right. But anyway, scooters in Southeast Asia are very common. Cheap. Get you one. What's up next? What do you think? Um, Next, Q culture. I, that's mm -hmm. what we're used to. And, and maybe it's a programming thing. In mm -hmm. school, you had to, your teacher had said, stand in line. Don't just stand in line, stay in line. And I'm used to that. I'm cool right. with that. But here, mm -hmm. baby, you try to get in the line. Don't just stand in the line. Mm -hmm. Think you're going to get where you need to go. Mm -hmm. People will jump in front of you. Like, you're not even there. They're like, what are you doing? <clears throat> and the reason why I think they do that, besides the fact that we've been trained since uh, birth to stand in line, um, they don't believe in, pub in space. Right. You know, so when we stand in line, like there's a person here, and then we stand right here, and to us that means we're behind them. Nope. <laughs> this is behind them here. <laughs> and we're just not going to stand that close. And so they're like, if you're not here, right. you're not in line. You must not be in line. Uh -huh, they will slip in front of you and think nothing of 
Five ten. No. Nope. And they know you in line. They know you. They know. They don't care. Yeah. That's really what it boils down to. Mm-hmm. They be like, bump that. I I live here. I don't want to stand in line behind her. Well, I mean, they do it to each other. So, I, because I stood trying to be polite mm, and stood okay. behind somebody who was looking at some stuff. And I was like, okay, I'm going to stay in here. And I stood there for a long time. Finally, this old elderly lady walked past me to the lady who was doing whatever she was doing and moved her out the way <laughs> and started doing what she because she won't go away. Well, then that's a that's a whole different scenario. I right mean, now. they don't care because she was just being rude by standing at the register looking at something. She should have no, put no, her no, stuff no, on no. Too. This wasn't the register. This is what so we were in a grocery store oh. looking at items, and there was no room where she was. At. I didn't want to be right up on her, but the See? other lady didn't mind. It's like that's what we do. So she got up on her, and so eventually the other lady just moved away. Exactly. She's like, oh, I guess it's not my turn anymore. Let me move. Right, and they will stand right, <laughs> right on you. I have. Um, I've gotten close, up close and personal with quite a few people here uh, on this journey. <laughs> Intentionally or unintentionally, I felt every bo- body part that they could possibly put against me, we have, we have commingled, you know. Indeed. Yeah, expeditiously, quickly. Uh, and then we moved on about our business. But yeah, I mean, you have to let go of that personal space a little bit. That's true. Um, that barrier around your body as an American, that's that's gonna fade a little bit, mm-hmm. I think. And, and that, you know, maybe it's a good thing. I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. I don't I'm know. just so used to it that it it, uh, um, it, um, it rattles me when people are really really close to me. I'm like you, because yeah. I think it's just the violence tendencies in America too, honey. That's true. You don't know what's if they cray cray, they right. gonna rob you. You don't know what's going on. Here, they just trying to get to the meat. Yeah. That's to the noodles, to the seasoning pack, the whatever. Cookies, whatever. Whatever you stand in front of, they just, you know, it is, it's karma. Mm. So, and I wrote down a couple things, so don't be thinking, you know, because I'm, I'm getting old. I can't remember everything. Um, basics. Things that you take for granted in America, they just ain't not going to happen here as much. Um, by basics, we mean like clothes dryers. Mm-hmm. It's really hot here, so most of the time you can hang your clothes outside to dry. Or you will hang your clothes outside to dry. Or in a room in your apartment, your home, to dry. But you rarely are going to find a dryer. We have one here. And we're geeked about it. Yeah. We really we are. We haven't had a dryer in a minute. Yeah, we have washers. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's quite common to have a washer. But a dryer, no. Um, ovens. We mentioned that in the other video about the five things we missed about America. It was ovens for me. You won't find ovens... Uh, and I don't think we found any in Cambodia. And mm-hmm. then Malaysia, we bought one. And here there's one, but it's, again, this is a toaster oven. These are not built-in baker cake industry standard ovens at all. Right. So, um, and tubs. Yeah. Yeah, I miss a tub. But no, it's not, a, it's not a regular thing. I mean, I'm sure you can get a place with a tub, but it's just not something you're going to see as mm-hmm. you're scrolling through apartments or whatever. Right. It's just not. Now, yeah. one thing I will say that I think you see more of here, and you can tell me whether you agree or not, are pools. I mean, I think you're more likely to land into a place that just happens to have a pool without even trying hard Yeah, in Southeast Asia, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. Yeah, I, I definitely give you that. Pools are very common. Even in, like, crappy apartments, yeah. you're going to find a decent pool, especially in Cambodia. It seems like they yeah. um, built up a, a crappy apartment and right next to it is a great pool. Right. Um, so... Yeah, mm-hmm. pools. Pools are gonna be at almost every apartment complex. Yeah, um, but it's hot. Yeah, it's hot, it's but, hot. but they, but they don't really hot. swim though. I mean, we, like I think people get in to cool off. I mean, I think that's the mm-hmm. only reason why they get in. A lot of times, they get in, cool off, get out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. Mm-hmm. What was another thing we noted? Um, we talked about the line jumping. Um, so we're in Southeast Asia. It's hot as as, as um, what's the? I was trying to use the descriptive sentence. I said it in my head. I, I was thinking, "I'll oh, get out," but okay, that'll work. Um, it's hot, you know. Uh, even in the off season, it's hot. Uh, though Hanoi does have a cold season, but um, it's mosquitoes everywhere and flies everywhere. Like mosquitoes. Uh, I, I've never seen how they replicate so easily and how they will eat you alive. Like, if there's one, there's 20. Right. But 
We moved to Hanoi, and there are hardly any mosquitoes here. Nope. And I don't know why. And there are no flies. We saw flies literally the other day when we were at an outdoor market. What not really an outdoor market. Somebody had like an alligator head out, and that was like the most we've seen a fly. No flies. Yeah. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what happened. It's weird, y'all. What are mosquitoes weird. in? I know there's a lot of pollution here, right? But I don't know what a mosquitoes are. Because it's it's humid. It's hot. It's humid. Just like it everywhere. Be a else. Perfect breeding ground. And and there's a lot of plants here where we are, particularly. There's just not. I don't know if the mosquitoes are like I'm over here minding my business. Maybe that's what it is. I don't know. You can leave your doors open here and you'll be fine. This is the only place we ever lived where we could do that. Uh, Cambodia was a feasting ground for mosquitoes. I I I, I just have never. I mean, yeah. all day long. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Um, Malaysia, same thing. Thailand, same thing. But you get here and it's like whatever. And it took us a minute to even recognize that they weren't here because we got here right at the beginning of COVID. And so we were just chilling, you know. And it was cool. It was cold here. Because mm-hmm. uh, Hanoi actually does experience seasons. This is the first time we had experienced cold and well, since we started our journey. Well, since the last winter in America, really, which would have been that January or February mm-hmm. uh, of 2019. So we got here and we needed a coat. So we didn't go out as much. Uh, plus COVID was going on. You couldn't right. go out. And so I thought, it's just winter time, mm-hmm. but it's 99 degrees and there is no mosquitoes. I think they're chilling in the shade. That's yeah. what I think. They're chilling I don't know what they have. Yeah. No flies either. Now, why we got no flies? It's flies. It's humans. You got flies. I don't know. Nope. It's, it's cool though. I'm okay with it. It's scary. I don't know what they producing over here. I don't know what we sucking in. But whatever it is, the mosquitoes and flies ain't here. They can keep right on spraying it. Well, the last thing is rice. I mean, I think that's sort of obvious, though, right? But there's rice with every meal here. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. If you like rice, this is the place for you. True. True. I love rice. And for rice. Mm-hmm. We eat rice. Mm-hmm. We some rice. Rice cooker. I never had a rice cooker until I moved to South That's true. Rice cookers everywhere. I mean, right. every apartment, you're going to have a rice cooker. Right. One yeah. or two of them. And I just, I didn't think they were necessary. I love my rice <laughs> Who knew? They're easy. They're convenient. They're out of the way. They don't take up an eye. Because um, you only, oh, that's another thing. So most of the ranges are going to be gas. And you're only going to get maybe two, two eyes. Mm-hmm. Rarely do you get four. Uh, and if you do get electric, it's going to be the electric hobs. And they're just not that great. Mm-hmm. So try to aim for gas if you're planning on uh, cooking in Southeast Asia. I'm going to do another video about Airbnbs, uh, what to look for if you're planning on visiting uh, or moving here. And what are the things that you may not think about until you actually are in the apartment and you're living in it and you're like, oh, oh, I just never even thought about any of that. I just thought it was going to be there. It's not. Right. So, and um, cooking with two eyes, I have to, you know, juggle. I'm so used to four eyes in the States and things like that. And when I say eyes, people, I mean the, the burners, you know, that you're cooking on. So, yeah, so those little things like that. But rice with every meal. Yeah. And there's different types of rices. Oh, true. So many. I didn't realize there were as many as there are until so we started traveling. So many. And I don't know why. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and not all of them you have to watch. Some of them you do. Some of them are a little sticky. Some of them are not. Some are a little sweet. Some of them are short. Some are a little long. They don't do parboiled here, which hurts my heart. It does. Because I love parboiled rice. I don't know why nobody has that. I mean, it's a perfect rice, though. It cooks separate. Oh. I don't see the big deal. I think there's something weird about parboiled rice, so I don't think it's like a natural thing. That's why it's not. you don't find it everywhere. That's she, why. Has she told me this when we were dating? I... I, I'm not complaining about a good powerful rice. I'm just saying, I don't know how natural it is. It's just pre-cooked. That's how it's cooked a little bit. That's it. Okay, Uncle Ben. Ain't nothing wrong with a good bag of Uncle Ben. <laughs> it's a little racist. It's a little racial. He thought I wanted to make poor balls. Mm. Matter of fact, that's the expensive one. Go get your you I know, bag. right? You weren't even getting them. He was like, like I was getting the ones from Mexico. <laughs> 
Because they bring them in too at the Mexican grocery stores in Georgia. That's why I was getting mine at. Um, so, and, um, and with that note, grits, you ain't going to find them. Let no. it go. And cornmeal. I forgot. Do you know, no. it, it, it takes you two people to find cornmeal. I mean, two, three people, and you still may not find it. Um, we had to. That's true. Went to a special store here to get it. Uh -huh. Never found it in uh, Cambodia. Yeah. Um, Malaysia was the only place that we found cornmeal. Um, and I don't know why. That's true. That's true. Yeah, cornmeal is like in grits. You won't find it. Mm -hmm. Grits were found in Malaysia. And polenta. You can For find some polenta reason. everywhere, but I don't like polenta like that. Right. It's not great. And I'm pretty sure, and that even is imported. I don't know yeah. why they're importing polenta, but mm -hmm. not grits. But not grits. Because so. enough of us have not. When I say a, a not enough of us, I mean Southerners. Right. Not just black Southerners, but Southerners. We have to travel more, and we have to demand grits. True. People. Start demanding grits. True. Whew. I had to get off my high horse because I miss grits, y'all. I miss grits. And good bacon. But that's a whole nother story. Mm -hmm. I could complain and complain and complain. And what? Those are the things that we notice about Southeast Asia that you might notice when you're traveling. And you should keep, you know, keep your eye open. Watch out for the scooters. Watch out when you're standing in line. Don't expect any grits. <laughs> or cornmeal. And you'll be good. You'll be alright. You'll be fine. And if you don't like mosquitoes, come to Vietnam. There you go. Everybody else going to have them. But if you can't take a mosquito bite, this is the country. And come on over to Hanoi. You'll be ready to go in a couple of days, but hey, at least you came. <laughs> All righty. And on that note, I am Kat. I am Amber. We are Wandering Soup. As always, like, share, follow, and subscribe. Uh, you can find us on IG, wondering underscore soup. You can find us on our blog, wonderingsoup.com. On YouTube, Wondering Soup. We'll see you on the next video. Tell us what you want us to talk about on our journey. And we'll go from there. And tell us how you do in the comments. Peace and love, y'all. Stay safe. Bye. So what? Everything. Oh, good. I just, I like clarity. Peace.